everyone. Today I'll be talking about pneumonia. Pneumonia is an acute respiratory illness which is characterized by inflammation of the lung parenchyma and this inflammation of the lung parenchyma occurs distal to the terminal bronchioles consisting of the respiratory bronchiole, the alveolar duct, the alveolar sac and the alveoli itself. If I talk about the cause or say the etiology, then the microorganisms can gain entry into the lung by any one of the following method. Either they can gain entry into the lung via inhalation or they can gain entry into the lung via aspiration or they can gain entry into the lung via hematogenous spread or they can gain entry into the lung through direct spread from an adjoining tissue suffering from infection. Certain risk factors which predispose an individual to pneumonia include upper respiratory tract infections, excessive cigarette smoking, excessive consumption of alcohol, any pre-existing lung disease, old age, and a patient on steroid therapy. Failure of certain defense mechanism result in pneumonia, which include a depressed cuff reflex and a depressed glottic reflex, an impaired mucociliary transport, an impaired alveolar macrophage function, endobronchial obstruction, and altered consciousness. Pneumonia has several classification schemes, some of which include anatomical classification, wherein pneumonia can either be a lobar pneumonia, a bronco pneumonia, or lobular pneumonia, or an interstitial pneumonia. Also, Pneumonia can be classified on clinical setting which include a community acquired pneumonia, a healthcare associated pneumonia including hospital acquired pneumonia and a ventilator associated pneumonia. A patient of pneumonia can complain of pulmonary symptoms such as cough or can complain of systemic symptoms such as fever and headache and some patient can invariably complain of loss of appetite. To confirm the diagnosis of pneumonia, your doctor would advise you to get some investigations done which can include a blood profile, a liver function test and a renal function test, an arterial blood gas, blood and sputum samples for gram staining and culture, an oropharyngeal swab for polymerase chain reaction for detection of atypical pathogens, a X-ray and a CT scan. Once the diagnosis of pneumonia is established, then based on its staging, its management can include a combination of oxygen therapy, fluid balance and an appropriate antibiotic therapy. So this was all about pneumonia in brief. Here is the overview of what I have discussed. If you think this video was helpful, do like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Also you can check out my YouTube short on curb scoring for pneumonia. Thank you.